185 pounds worth of meat here from six months worth of work. On average, this meat right here cost us $3.78 a pound. Today I kind of just wanted to go over a little bit of what you can expect to get back for meat from your pig when you have it sent out to the butcher. I got the little cut sheet here right in front of me. Uh, the pig live weight was 325 pounds. Hanging weight it was 233 pounds. All said and told, that all this stuff right here, I just weighed it. We got 195 pounds worth of meat, and then which includes 10 pounds worth of livers and hearts back from the butcher. The lard's not here. You forgot to give us our lard. We have to go back to the butcher shop and get it. We are definitely getting the lard. We're going to render that down. We'll do a video on that when we get the stuff and have time to render it. Um, I just kind of wanted to go through. Right over here, we got our smoked bacon all packaged up. We had the bacon smoked and we had the jowls smoked. I was told that's really good. I've never had it before. If you guys have ever had smoked jowls, leave it down in the comments below and let me know what you've done with it and what you've thought of it. I was told it's really good eating and it's really good for putting in your beans instead of um, salt pork. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I guess normally if you don't want it like that, they grind it up and put it in the sausage. We got 27 pounds of bacon and jowls, so two packages of jowls, and the rest is all bacon. We got back one big ham, which this weighed 11 pounds, two half hams, and then two quarter hams. I didn't weigh all of them individually. This one, like I said, is 11 pound ham. I didn't go with a full ham because that's a lot of meat for one family. And then we got a bunch of ham steaks. The ham and the ham steaks total, we got 44 pounds back of smoked ham. This is just from one of the pigs. The other pig I raised for my father-in-law. Then we have 52 pounds of sausage. We just got it all ground up to breakfast sausage and sweet Italian sausage. We had right here we have 62 pounds. So in this box we have pork chops. We have, they usually ask, we got four pork chops per package. They're good sized pork chops. The ham steaks, we cooked up one ham steak so far and it filled up, we have a big frying pan, probably about this big around, and it filled up that thing right around. So I mean, it, it's good sized meat we've been getting back. We got a bunch of pork chops, a big end roast, got another rib end roast, the loin end roast here, and a pork butt roast. Then we got back 10 pounds of liver and heart. I think this is mine and this is from both the pigs. Now, I don't plan on eating that. I'm sure it's good eating. I'm just not a liver and heart kind of person, but I thought I would save it and feed it to the chickens. Why let all that good food that I grew with passion and care and making sure we got some good food, nutritious food for us, why do I want that to go to waste? If I'm not gonna eat it, my chickens can eat it and they're gonna love it, I'm sure. So I figured in the winter time when it's cold out and they can use the extra protein, I'll go ahead and I'll feed them the liver and heart. I'd like to know what you guys do with your pigs. Leave them in the comments below. Um, what kind of cuts of meat you get, what are really good, what you recommend. These are the cuts we do. This is our first time of trying jowls. Somebody recommended that to us this year. So we went ahead and we got them smoked up. So we're gonna try them. I can't wait to try them and put them in the beans. The butcher said they're supposed to be really good in your baked beans instead of doing um, salt pork. So we're gonna try that. The lard I wanna render down and I'll use it for baking. I wouldn't mind trying to make a soap out of it. I don't know if you can, but I know a lot of people make soaps out of different fats, so if you know of a good recipe for making, let me know, leave it in the comments below. Any other good ideas for the stuff, let me know. I haven't had the time to make all the different, to cure the meats differently, so I really want to try it. It really comes down to having the time and having a good recipe and somebody that's tried it and the luck they've had. Um, we didn't grow up doing this stuff. This is all kind of new to us. We love it, we enjoy it. The food we get from it is awesome. If you've never raised a pig and you're thinking about it, I'd highly recommend it. They're very easy to raise. Um, they don't take a lot of time and effort. As long as you have them out on pasture, electric fence, train them to that. I made an automatic pig waterer. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll link that video. It may 
maybe here or here. It'll be down in the com comments below. I'll put the link to that and it'll probably pop up on the screen. The automatic pig water worked awesome. With the two pigs having 55 gallons of water all the time, I filled it up every week. I probably could have went a week to a month having to fill it up, but I just always kept filling it up, keeping fresh water in there for them. We never had any issues with allergy growth in the water. I know we've had a lot of comments on the video about that, but we've never had any issues with the allergy. Um, allergy needs sunlight to grow, and if you use a dark barrel, the sunlight can't get in, the UV rays can't get into the barrel, so you're not gonna have allergy growth. So that worked really well. 195 pounds worth of meat, including the liver and heart, that was 10 pounds. If you take that off, we got 185 pounds worth of meat here from six months worth of work. Um, it's, that's without the lard. Hope I'll, when I get the lard back, I'll let you guys know how much lard I got. I'm expecting quite a bit. I'm gonna get the lard from both of our pigs. My father-in-law didn't want it. We'll go ahead and we'll do a video on that when we get that back. So let's see, it cost me, let's get off the old trusty calculator because I don't want to do math on camera here. So that's 325 bucks into the pig and the grain. And then we have $335 into the butchering fee. So we have 660 bucks invested into this pig. We're gonna round it up and we'll say 700 bucks. On average, this meat right here cost us $3.78 a pound. Now this is all pasture-raised meat. If you went to go buy pasture-raised meat from a farmer, you'd be paying quite a bit more than $3.80 a pound. So it's definitely well worth the investment. You just gotta have a freezer and we're gonna be eating like kings this winter. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. I wanna know what you guys do with your pigs. What are some stuff you make homemade out of your pork? If you ever tried making soap with your lard, let me know. We'll see you back here next time at Lumna Acres.